Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and welcome to my semi-final match against Lucky Luck Luck. Um, he was 180 TV more than me, so I put in 20k of my own money for a wizard and a babe. Um, I won the toss and chose to kick because I figured the only way I can win this game is use my wizard to like, you know, do something, get a turnover, score on his drive. Um, going to half time 1 0 up, or possibly 2 1, and then score well, yeah, yeah, 2 or 2 1 up, or 1 1 0 up, then score. Then I can score any time on my offense when I have likely down players. Um, and then obviously 2 0 up, he, he can't come back from that, even if I've got nobody left on the pitch whatsoever, basically. So, um, my team's as it was movement 9, strength 4, blood step and stuff, uh, edge, edge 5, sure hands. Some bludge, two loners. He, he had he had the very good fortune of leveling up three players in his quarterfinal, so he could tailor his picks. If he was playing, um, you know, whether he's playing me or Mins, if he'd been playing Mins, he'd have probably gone, you know, claw or mighty blow on this guy, claw on him. But because he he knew he was playing me, he went tentacles on this guy, tackle on this guy, and uh, tackle on this guy. <laughs> so <laughs> so all of a sudden I'm facing one, two, three, four tackle. Um, which isn't isn't pretty, is it? He's got a crazy strength four, block claw tackle, extra arms rotter. I don't really don't like the extra arms on him, but fair enough. Um, frenzy tackle, wrestle DP, full claw palm with tackle, stand firm beast rather than guard beast, which is an interesting choice. Mighty blow, guard block mighty blow guard. Obviously a rookie warrior. Um, dirty player again, Just one reserve. I, I obviously had eleven because I had journeyman there, and sure hands about as good as ball carries you can make on all normals. Foul appearance, um, right? So there you go. So let's get into it. This is my setup, obviously rule of five. Um, there'll be no spoilers. Uh, Oh, you'll have to you'll have to watch it, Simon. <laughs> and uh, no spoilers or anything else. I mean, I'd rather people in chat didn't spoil it, you know, because this is this is for YouTube's. So, so there you go. So I got a perfect defense. So I used my kick to put it deep, and then I got a perfect defense. And it it was an annoying perfect defense because I mean he had correctly put his claw on one side and beast the other. Um. So like. I considered putting everyone back just to not give up claw palm hits, but I thought if I do that, I'm doomed to failure. So I thought I've got to, I've got to push forward and go for this, go for this wizard turnover shenanigans. <laughs> so that's that's what this is. I realised I should just set up like this anyway, you know. Um, as well after this, I thought, why didn't I just set up? Asymmetrically, anyway. So, make some safe moves first. Interesting that he forms an anti leap cage rather than an anti wizard cage. Um, because I don't have leap. <laughs> I mean, to to me, the the guard in the cage is good enough. You know, I would have I would have just picked up with him and uh, been happy. But it obviously goes for the pick up handoff. Great first turn for me here as he uh, as he piles on to no effect with his blitz. Nobody removed off the LOS blocks yet. Taking extra risks that he doesn't need to, but you know, it puts the it means I can only minus two dice him now at the moment. But you see, he hasn't got anyone here, has he? So he's this. This was the key thing. He didn't have anybody here, much like Mins in the first in in the quarterfinals, you know. And then he goes for a foul. Oh yeah. Also, he had the uh, he had the free bribe stadium, which, as it turned out, was pretty crucial. Um, but he, he doesn't break armor. So I mean, I'll pause it here. <laughs> there you go. I was too late. So um, 
you know, okay, I, I fireballed. <laughs> right. So as you can see, he's got four, five players here, one of which is downed. Although he does have the beast in contact with three players. So I've got, you know, how many standing players? One, two, three, seven standing players. And he's got this crazy cage of six players. So I figure, I thought for a while before I did this fireball, and I thought, I've got to apply pressure this turn. I can get people through here and, uh, you know, separate his team. But it's not going to... I just didn't think I could put enough pressure on without the wizard. Even though it's strength forward guard. I had to knock over one of these two players, really. Um, and obviously knocking one of those over as well would have been good. But if I, and if I knocked over both of those, I'm really good. 25%, it's amazing. Well, no, one, one of those is good. It would have to be one him and one of these. Would have been the best, or him, or just the ball carrier would have been fine. Just the ball carrier would have been fine. So 50 50 for that. One of these is is not so good without one of these, but never mind. So do the fireball, get one knockdown. But I mean, you know, I'm still committed. I've have got the I've got the wrestle for the minus two dice. So add five through there. Because obviously there was there was the tackle there, so I didn't want to dodge through that way, so he he made two dodges. I just based him. I mean he could have pushed me into a mighty blow block, but I thought if he's maximizing blocks on his turn, you know he's he's gonna he's gonna come unstuck, isn't he? I just stood these up. Maybe I should have moved them at the end to dodge away from the beast. But you know, I I figured there was a decent chance of a turn over here. Minus two, roll the skull, re-roll, get the both down, wrestle it out. Pretty amazing scatter, to be honest, out of here. Movement guy left to react. So he picks it up. And uh, I thought ages for here. Eventually I made the GFI, because I'm still in scoring range, and it makes it really hard for the tackle guy to get around, or the two heads guy to get around. And uh, luckily he didn't get the knockdown there, so he couldn't free him up. I mean, he could have pinned me to the sideline. Uh, not really pinned, but I mean, he would have been stood there, which would have been good for him. So I was happy with this, though. You know I mean? he's He blitzes with this tackle guy, gets a push. Sidestep there, because I figure that really should... Well, it shuts down him getting, the, uh, getting in here. Maybe I shouldn't have given him an extra block. Maybe I should have gone there. And gets tackle. He's got so much tackle. That's the thing, and the tentacles. It was a, it was really horrible for Dark Elves particularly, because you know I didn't have that much of a movement advantage over him. Gets a Kaz, but it's well a kill, but it's the journeyman, so I don't really care. See, I did give away a block unnecessarily against the witch, but I thought it takes two players' actions to make that block. So, and obviously, sized up away from the tackle. Now he's got two guys on the beast, which I guess... Well, the other one's dead, so... <laughs> it's not that good, is it? But, you know, I, I, fig I figure... Maybe I could have gone back here, I don't know. But I thought, you know, I want to stall around here. Around this area. But this this ten tentacles here was a right pain because I wanted a blitz with a witch elf. So I made my safe moves first. Um, as it was. Edge five doing some work there, but obviously exposed the blitz. Yeah, do do some dodges and that, you know, tie people up as as much as possible. Or managed to make the tentacles roll there, minus one strength. Pretty handy. And she failed the equal strength roll for tentacles. And I just couldn't risk her couldn't risk a re-roll for that. So that that fucked her up really, wasted my blitz. I mean if she'd come out and blitzed here. Then I'm I'm stalling easily, aren't I, for another couple of turns? But that was really bad. Her her just uh, failing that. But occupied a tackler for a turn in the end, so it wasn't wasn't so bad. But obviously he's taken the blitz hard. Mighty blow tackle. I had to re-roll because he he'd taken tackle instead of block. It's the kill though. Shada. So 
so you know he's he's putting some heat on. Yeah, this is a very good turn for him actually. Um, well, well played. Yeah, I think he played this turn quite well. Or I played it badly, whichever one you wanna say. He's got he's got the tentacles. He isn't tentacle anybody, but he's in a good spot. Oh yeah, she doesn't have sidestep, does she? That was a real pain. Then he got that push away because if he, if he like obviously wasn't going to push it there, but if I'd had sidestep, I could have gone to there, and then been in to blitz this uh, guy. And he puts him in a very good spot. Very very good because I couldn't I couldn't blitz him because he's got tentacles and and foul appearance. If I blitz him, you know, if I blitz one of these guys, I. I've got to get the knockdown or whatever, otherwise I can go. And I thought for ages, and eventually he just scored. And I guess this was a mistake. I should have, I should have done something. You know, I should have made GFIs or whatever to to get my strength for block or whatever. It was a bit lame. I, sh I should have, I sh And the worst thing is, I could have got not only one more stall, but two more turn stall out of it. If I'd got one more turn of stall, I would have got two more. And I did think for a, quite a while. And ultimately, I guess that was a very bad misplay because five turns is enough for him to score. Um, if I had sold out for two more, he's not scoring, 100%. Um, but, you know, I think I've got the movement nine one turn, so even if he does score here on five, I do have the chance of the one turn to be 2-1 up. And then, uh, and then obviously, I can score at any point in the second half. So I, I, it would have been risky to go for another turn stall, but I think it... Upon reflection, <laughs> I probably should have tried, rolled some dice to, to go for the stall. Because, like, I'm thinking here, do I just go back and try to protect my team for the for the second half and overtime? And I thought, no, I've got to pressure him, haven't I? Even, even with only nine players, I have to I have to do something to try and stop him scoring here. Five turns was a very, you know, would have been so much easier if he only had four even. Um... So yeah, maybe, maybe I misplayed scoring so quickly there. But obviously one nil up in his drive is still still very nice, isn't it? So I mean so far so good. That was no it was good, it just could have been better. If I'd scored on turn five or, or you know, like turn six or something. Or, he was starting to get his guys round, but I, I was also scared of him just getting tentacles on the ball carrier, you know. Uh, but I could have. It was only one strength more. I could have just re-rolled if I'd failed. So I shouldn't have been so scared. I should have. I should have gone for the two more turn stall. As it happens, I think you've got to be take a few more risks, haven't you, in the playoffs? The the coaches are better. The teams are better. You can't just play it safe there all the time. Another Kaz. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess I misplayed that. I looked at ones and scores after the game, and he <laughs> he got quite good. Well, he he got better dice than me, but particularly on the uh, he had a nice spike of eights on the on the injuries. But you see here by playing safe. He had, um, you know, he made it just in time for for the five turn score, you know, like one, two, three, four. So if I had just stalled another turn or two, I don't, you know, the fact that I had the kick to put it in the corner there, really misplayed there, possibly misplayed. Obviously, the pile on blitz comes in, gets another KO. So at this point. <laughs> You know, I've got no players left, have I? Three, six, seven guys. About to foul with a dirty player. Gets tentacles on two, so I've only really got three players. <laughs> and, and it was a get the ref event, wasn't there? So now he had two bribes as well. I give him an extra bribe. I mean, I thought I've got a pressure with these three a little bit, haven't I? 
So he goes there because he's got sidestep, so he can't get frenzied out. He goes there for the assist. Have to GFI to blitz him. Roll a one. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have gone for this. I think this is probably a misplay. You know, GFI to hit into another GFI. Roll another one. So two out, two, <laughs> two out of three rolls of one there. But I probably didn't need to go. I just felt I had to because I only had three players on the pitch. You know, I felt I had to do something to get in his face. Um, but that he's out of rerolls now. And again, you know, if I'd just stalled, if he's got a score in uh, only two more turns of the reroll, he's going to struggle, isn't he, without a reroll? But ah well. So yeah, he again goes for the anti leap. Cage against Norby. I mean, it's actually, it's actually not really helping him at all. Well, it's helping him a tiny bit, I guess, but only a tiny bit. But you know, I've, I've still. I still think if I can get some guys out here, you know, I can I can force them to roll some dice, can't I? But it, it's asking a lot, obviously, at this point. <laughs> fail, fail the foul appearance again there, so that I'm trying to hit that guy and roll three out of four ones trying to hit him. And I misplayed here, dodging out. I forgot about the tackle. Obviously, this guy would have had to make tentacles roll, but he did have dodge. So he, he should have dodged out first. So that, that was just an absolute clear misplay by me. He should have dodged out first. Very, very poor. Very poor not dodging with him first. Just for, literally forgot tackle. And, you know, had he been there, that's more dice rolls he's got to make. Um, and he could have failed without rerolls. Not having any guard at all really hurt me here. Cause I just, it was just really hard to make any blocks, especially obviously with no men. It's the pal. Another removal, but yeah, you know, ultimately that this was the killer here, wasn't it? That that not dodging away. Forgetting the tackle was very bad. Though, of course, still unlucky to fail the one in six roll. I thought about going for the six plus dodge in there with a reroll. Um, six plus dodge in for a 1D. At this point, I didn't hate it, which is bad, but then I thought, no, I'll just dodge out. And I made the same mistake again two turns in a row. I should have dodged him out first because he had dodge, right? Didn't. And she rolls a one for the guy with tackle. So that was that was really terrible. <laughs> I mean, she would have gotten a lot... Uh, this one wasn't so bad because she would have gotten a lot better position than, than that guy. Um, but the, the, the last turn, it was a clear misplay. This turn, she was going to get in a better spot than he was going to get. So in a way, you could look at risking one in 36 before the more important one in six was bad. Um, but of course now he's got so many guys he can make this safe with three dice to cover the double skull maybe I misplayed there maybe I should have sidestepped to here because that's how he was going to keep the ball safe wasn't he I mean, like he'd made a space here for the ball I guess I should have sidestepped there stay in contact so I guess I misplayed there There was there was no blitz I could make on the on the turn that I scored with Eden Hippie. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, he should. Yeah, he obviously could have made it safer by going in the in, in the middle. Um, but he, he wanted to make he wanted to get three dice on the witch elf, didn't he? Which you can't blame him for too much. But um, but then there you go. The first thing I do, roll a one. <laughs> well, no, make the tentacles roll, but roll a one and fail. And I'm saving my reroll for the for the overtime. You know, my not the overtime, my one turn score. He was just safe. He could have actually made three GFIs and, and got to here, so I could have got a one dice on the ball. But I was just going to go for a... I don't know what I was going to do. There you go. So he gets his... He gets his... Uh, he gets his 1-1. One, one. I mean, the misplay that I made leading Hippie here in chat saying that I should have blitzed before I scored... The, uh, the misplay that I did was scoring it all, you know, I should have absolutely, 100% um, tried to stall it for another turn there. Um, so there you go, so 3 out of 5 come back. There were 3 pluses because I had the babes. So, not too, not too lucky by me there. Real shame that I'm missing these guys as well. Because it means extra draw for the one turn, but obviously movement nine, sprint, sidestep. It's really easy to get him the pushes. Um, even with the seven players, it was possible. Right, so he sets up like this. I think a few things. He's got tackle both players here. So I go for. Well, I'll pause it after I uh, after the kick lands and explain explain the moves required. So obviously dodgers are on the LOS because they've got a, they've got blodgers because they've got a dodge away. I was so close to getting a touchback here as well. It goes right, right in the end zone, but then bounce but stays on. So the the setup here is, um, I'll take the skills off. I need to put a guy here to cancel this assist, a guy here to assist. Um, and then blitz with a strength 4, push him to here, then the second push, push him to here, have somebody here, push him to here, which then sidesteps him forward. The thing is, I need to power him. <laughs> now, if I had more players, of course, I could have had two more guys, put them there, moved someone in, and it would have been so much easier. And what, because I would have had somebody to block him as well for to get the power, because I would need to power him on the second block. So it's still dodgy, you know, he's got tentacles, but this way, this guy's got... These have got tackle, so I thought better to go for the power on the second block. <laughs> Sidestep him here and then just go through here without without going through tackle. Um, but yeah, the tentacles was a bit bit dodgy in being tentacles guy. Also, um, if I did get the pow, he'd be here and three squares away from him, so I'd be catching the ball on a two plus. If I uh, if I threw it to him first, he'd be catching it on like a four plus. And if I fail to knock over that guy, I'd be catching a four plus. So I really wanted to power him on the second block. Um, so the ball goes. That's why I don't do the pass first. So he goes there to, to assist there. He goes in to fill up this square. She dodges out to fill up that square, and rolls a double one. So I don't, <laughs> I don't have the, I don't have the chance to go for the one turn. Um, a little bit unlucky there, I think. I would have liked to have had the chance at least, but. You know. So there you go, he's uh one KO comes back. So I mean eight players is, is acceptable. I think when you're playing like a kill team like this, I set a flash binder before I played Mins, I'd be happy starting the second half with eight players. And I was starting the second half with eight players. I'm starting this half with eight players, but it's this is so much harder than the uh, than the orc team because he's got you know he's got more well no he hasn't got more guard probably than the orcs but he's got the two tentacles and he's got four tackle and he's got claw palm and it was just like it was just it was just a bit horrible you know he never failed the big guy. Ever, <laughs> so you know. And if I if I just stalled it out, I would have been one nil up. I could have blitzed here, caged here, scored, and I, I'm two nil up. And there's no way he can win. So ultimately, 
the misplay was scoring when I scored. That was that was the huge thing that I did wrong. But you know now it now it's one one and just scoring isn't enough, has it? I've got to, I've got to stall out the half. So I thought about you know punching down this side. I did think about it, but I just thought then I'm going to be forced to score early. So I've got to like dance around for a while, you know. So I've got this layered thing here. Not the best. Maybe I should have put them one square wide. I said on a push, he couldn't have got through, but. I don't know. I've got to get a bit lucky at this point now, haven't I? My own fault. So yeah, obviously with with them having the strength and the guard, I just had to give up the LOS. With so few players, and uh... and unfortunately, he could blitz with claw palm four squares. So I should have. I should have put everyone a square further back so he couldn't have blitzed with Clawpon. That was a misplay. And I couldn't blitz anybody because I had to keep these these two banks banks of defence. Makes a GFI here, does he? Or two? Two GFI. So he makes the really stupid and the two GFIs. But, you know, maybe I should have been one square further back so he couldn't have done that. First action, run away from it. Assist the blitz. I think this is quite a good spot for me here because I can blitz him, assist there, block him, and make a nice little cage. Foul appearance, roll a one. Brilliant. That was horrible. Crucial foul appearance. Unbelievably crucial foul appearance roll there. Because I think with that blitz there, assist here, block here, you know, fail minus one strength there. Probably a misposition there, I should have been one square above. And roll a one on that dodge. Yeah, I should have been one square, definitely should have been one square above there. That was bad. Very bad, as we're about to find out. Yeah, this, this was a misplay, this should have been one square higher. Damn. So that was a huge foul appearance, you know. If I'd made that foul appearance, I'd, I'd maybe knock him down, assist over there, and and make a kind of a good little screen for myself. But instead, I give up a block on my witch elf. Ah, it wouldn't have mattered because he had guard. Oh no, it would have mattered. Rolls the pals me blodger. Standard. I can't believe he doesn't follow here because he's got tentacles, right? Why doesn't he follow? I couldn't, I couldn't actually believe that. I thought that was terrible. I was aghast when he didn't follow there. Um, and then he makes the GFI here into the foul, the foul that won the game. I said to him in chat when he did this because if he doesn't break here and he gets the injury, I mean, I appled it in case there was overtime. Um. But, you know, Bribe keeps him on as well. If he's done... I was thinking even at this point, you know, she's movement seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She gets to there. He goes out. I can make a nice little sideline here. Um, but with losing her, I was like, oh. But, yeah, that that was a big misplay, not, not moving that. And rolling one on him was huge. Good try, Jimmy. <laughs> Thank you, Tony Praise Pooley. Obviously, this was free from the foul appearance there. I did remember it. Could her positioning been better? Maybe. Maybe I should have made some GFIs with her over here or something. I just stuck her in the middle because I thought it does something, doesn't it? But, you know, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have put her in a better place. 
figured I had to re-roll this to get him in somewhere. But again, didn't really think it through. Maybe he should have, he should have definitely been here, shouldn't he? Probably. Rather than here. Because that lets him get two guys in on me. So, and she's not really doing anything there, is she? If she'd been here making a screen, it would have been good or something. Maybe I should have made the GFIs and dodged or something with her. I don't know. It's hard to say, though, isn't it? I had to make a lot of rolls that turn without dodge as well. That, that was why that foul was so huge, you know? Without that foul, then I've got a strength four player here or something. It's way better, isn't it? Especially as this guy's six squares away. <laughs> How's me bludger again? For a KO. This, this is the point where I've pretty much given up. Oh, I'd switch the, switch the camera. You know, but he's overcommit, hasn't he? He's got all these players over here, but he just casually makes the two GFIs. Did do them one at a time. But this is horrible for me now. Especially without the edge fall. Which... Edge 4, Strength 4, Witch. But yeah, huge. If that guy had been there, I would have had the clear... The clear 2 plus dodge away, wouldn't I? Instead of 3, 3, 2. So, that was a misplay by me. I, I made some misplays there, for sure. If this guy had just been there... He dodges out, these two dodge out, blitz him. The others can dodge away. He finally failed something in the match here with this GFI, double ones it, Which really opens up the space to go through here. And uh, I think a lot this turn, there's a, lo there's a lot of options. The, the, the turn here is just going to be a double one into a turnover, right? But, <laughs> I know it was a one two. But, what, it, what you know, I thought I could have dodged out the lineman here. And the witch elf could have made a one dice blitz to chain the... Um, tentacle away, but it would still be just been so it'd have been a two plus dodge out instead of a three, three two and two tentacles rolled. It was pretty horrible making two tentacles rolls here, but um, yeah, it was just it was just horrible. Uh, the the mis the way, the reason I got pinned to the sideline was this guy being in the wrong square. If he'd been here, I wouldn't have been pinned to the sideline. Um, I thought maybe the minus two DV better than double tentacle rolls, but he's got block, hasn't he? So. Um, it would have been it would have been pretty horrible, but yeah, I thought the technical rolls aren't that bad. I honestly didn't think it was that bad. He's only plus one more strength than me, so I thought I'll just go for it. I thought assuming I make the dodges, I've got dodge for the dodges. I'll use my team reroll and the technicals. It obviously wasn't great, but I thought the payoff's bigger, isn't it? This was the thing. The, if if I'd blitzed him with a minus two D, I couldn't with him because he hasn't got block. If I'd done the blitz with him, then I haven't got blitzes here. So I thought I'll go. For, I'll just go for the look here. Get downfield, then she can blitz him, and you know stand on him. He can go up. He can dodge out. He can maybe dodge out, and then I can have some kind of a screen because scoring isn't enough, is it? Scoring is not enough. I have to score, you know, late enough that he can't score back, and and that was the big mistake I made in the first half. I mean, regardless of all the ones I've rolled on dices, you know, here. Um, Throughout the match, um, Jim Shard have a 25 p beer on me. <laughs> thank you very much, BZO, and thank you, Tony Face Fully as well. I don't know if I had said that before, but yeah. Despite the fact that he basically never failed a roll and I never succeeded a roll, apart from the steal in the first turn, you know, with a mind, with a wrestle, um, that was ultimately what lost me the uh, was what lost me the game. Definitely was was just not stalling more after I stole it on turn one. It was why I didn't really want to go for the steal on turn one as well, you know. Um, because again, it's it's you've got to score late enough that they can't score back. As much as Inarian likes scoring on turn two, I really don't like, you know. So now it's over, you know. Um, he's got the ball caged up. And while he may not play perfectly here to keep it as safe as possible... Um, it doesn't really matter because it's essentially over. He didn't... I don't think he made any glaring errors. Um, I don't think he made any glaring errors, to be honest. But, yeah, obviously I was sad that I did my double one trying for the one turn. If I'd made my one turn, I would have had a pretty good... Pretty good shot at just... You know, then I could have just scored. 
being able to score at any point instead of having to score on turn 8 just makes it so much harder. Um, yeah. He made a lot of GFIs and isn't named Sean. Yeah, like I don't think he made any horrific misplays though. You know, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't wanna. I honestly didn't even think he did. You know, I, I've, I've got no criticisms of him at all. Um, I think he played fine. Sure, he could have played better, but can't we all? Um, I just think I lost because I didn't stall. You know, that was that was the thing. It wasn't an easy stall by any means. There, there was some scary rolls. Whatever I did, like GFIs or. You know, dodges and stuff. Um, it was, it was really tough. I, I should, I should have. I just, I wasn't getting enough. Like it sounds stupid, scoring on his drive wasn't enough, but it really wasn't because it was always going to be so hard to stall him out. But there you go. I mean now. You know, yeah, he could have, he could have, he could have completely shut me down by putting a guy here and a guy here and here and all this kind of stuff, and he just made a default cage. But again, it just, you know, and I had a chance, didn't I? One, two, three, GFI, GFI <laughs> for a minus, minus two dice blitz. But I just really don't think he matters. You know? No, I think I think the score first half was terrible. I really do. I really think I should have stalled it out. One more turn of stall would have made such a difference. And at this point in the game, you know, I'm disgusted. Roll a double, roll, roll a one on the dodge. I don't even re-roll it because I just think screw it. You know, which which was obviously a horrendous misplay. I absolutely had to re-roll it and go for the minus two D. But you know, I just gave up and didn't even re-roll it. And it, 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 you know, that was that was dumb because I could have rolled double power on the on the hit, and then he could have failed to pick it up with re-rolls. You know, he could have won in 36 three times and not scored. But then in overtime, with three, four, five, six, no, seven players, I could have scored. But I just felt, you know, I was just mentally, mentally gone here. Um, there you go. Inarian trolling in chat. <laughs> but there you go. Yeah, I should have rerolled that still, but yeah. This team was just tailor, literally tailor-made tailor -made to beat me because you got to pick three of your skills before our match. Um, as it happened. Yeah, I, th I, th I thought the score was good. If I'd just got two, you know, if I'd just stalled it one or two turns more, one nil up at half time. Then I could. Then I'm free to score two nil. He, he just literally can't win because he's just a shitty bash team. So, <laughs> so yeah, my fault for losing. Hundred percent. I did roll a lot of ones. Um, you know, the, the foul appearance was huge, and the GFIs and stuff. Um, there you go. So yes, I uh, I did lose in the semi-final. There you go. I mean, it was pretty pretty obvious. I think going to the second half, even with eight players, the fact he can just lock us down with the tentacles, and uh, he had so much tackle and the strength advantage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a funny stat here. I made two blocks <laughs> um, because you know, at first I kicked and then blocked the ball carrier. I failed foul appearances on the blocks that I made. Um, you know, just one more block would have probably won the game for me if, I'd, if I if I could have blocked that foul appearance guy. My strength for which wouldn't have been what cast. Are you doing? Are you doing? And then, you know, you everything's different, isn't it? I could have had a good little cage there, and I think I could have still won even at that stage. But I really do think I lost it by not stalling it out. Scoring on turn three, I scored too early. He had five turns to grind me down and score. And although, you know, that was about, it was just crucial, you know. If he'd had four turns, I don't think, he, I think I would have won if I'd stalled one more turn. And I think had I gone for the stall, I could have stalled 
two more um, two more turns, really. But there you go. Yeah, I'm happy with semi-finals. It's 100 euros, isn't it? And I, I do believe, it, as bad as my dice were, I rolled a lot of ones there. I'm not going to lie. But I really do think, had I stalled, I would have won. So I'm going to blame myself and my misplays. That's what you've got to do. You know, you can't just blame the dice every time. Got to look at what you did. What could you have done better? I misplayed by dodging, uh, like, my better players away rather than making that wrestle dodge, you know, a couple of times. So, so there's always things you can do better, isn't it? That's the thing. And definitely should have. It was a bit risky going for the stall, but, I, you know, I, I, I had a good grasp on the situation and I basically knew I had to do the stall. I just didn't have the balls for it. So, um... Yeah, it was not an easy stall, but I, I think I really should have risked it for the biscuit. So, yeah. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.